in track, everything comes full circle, though it may take time. Margaret Brennan reports on an extraordinary finish today at the White House. It was a stand that shocked the world. American sprinters Tommy Smith and John Carlos raising their black gloved fists in protest at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. Smith said the moment was overwhelming. When you were raising your fist, what was going through your mind? Get me off of the stand. The national anthem is exactly one minute and 30 seconds long, but it seemed like an hour. That protest against racial inequality got them ejected from the games and banished from the Olympic community for decades. Yes, we were hated, we were vilified, but I do think because we were hated and vilified, that showed you that there was something that needed changing. Welcome to the White House. Today, nearly 50 years later, the Olympic medalists were welcomed back into the fold by President Obama. We're honored to have here the legendary Tommy Smith and John Carlos here today. <laughs> the powerful silent protest uh, in the 1968 games was controversial, but it woke folks up and created greater opportunity uh, for those that followed. Oh, I feel great. I sat up there and just ate it all up. Now a new generation of athletes has picked up the baton from Smith, led by NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who kneels during the national anthem to protest police violence against African Americans. Smith supports activist athletes and said their peaceful actions take courage. When you do something and you really believe in it, you really don't think about the cost. You just do it. And these silent gestures are meant to speak volumes. Margaret Brennan, CBS News, Washington.